Hey everyone, Sky here. Just want to show you what the end result of all the canning was. Here we have uh, 44 jars all set up, um, all sealed, and going to be putting these in my long term food storage. Not sure how long they're going to last because, well, they're just absolutely amazing. Um, today, what we're going to be going over is it's just going to be a short little video of. Uh, something that my family likes to do and that's actually uh, cook all that that's one of the downsides uh, to me trying to lose weight is because I enjoy eating but uh, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be getting zucchini ready for actual zucchini bread so I thought I'd bring it along for the process and uh, show you how I do it all right the first step, along with any type of food venture, obviously besides washing your hands, is washing your product. Yes, this is one of our uh, homegrown zucchinis. So all we do is you really don't want to soak these. If you soak them, water is going to get into the product and in turn it's just going to water everything down, take away some flavoring. Or at least that's something that we've noticed. So, all we do, let me find my little scrub pad. Here we go. So, we go ahead and we do get it wet. Then, taking a scrub pad, make sure you guys can see it. Just go over the product. Try to get any dirt, debris, anything of that sort off of our zucchini. There we go. One clean zucchini ready for the next step. So we got our clean zucchini. What we're going to do now is we're going to chop it up into smaller pieces so it's easier to work with. If you have a smaller zucchini, all you really pretty much have to do is remove the top and the end. But since these are a pretty big size, we're going to make them a little bit smaller. Another thing I should mention here is if you look, on sometimes with the really big ones, you'll get pretty decent sized seeds. All I do for that is just cut around them. So that way, none of the seeds uh, can get into our end product. Um, little ones I'm not too concerned about, but the ones that are pretty decent in size, yeah, I really don't care for that in my bread. Okay, now that we got our zucchini cleaned and cut, what we're going to do is use your standard everyday type cheese grater and we're just going to grate the zucchini. Alrighty, so we just got done uh, grating up all of our zucchini, or I'm sorry, that one piece of zucchini. And as you can see, it leaves a uh, pretty decent amount of product. Um, zucchini bread normally takes about two cups to do one loaf. But uh, in my family, we never do anything one at a time. So, what we're going to do is we're going to be putting four cups of our zucchini in uh, regular zipper bags. So, just gonna go ahead, fill her on up, pat it down. And go ahead and throw it in our bag. So one, make sure you guys 
guys can see this okay. This is one of the messier parts. By far. And two. Okay, so here's our zucchini. All we do is go ahead, seal her on up. I leave a little spot open here. And then just go ahead, get all the air out that you can. It's sort of hard doing this on camera, but uh, if you go ahead and just put it on a nice little table here, I'm going to try to get this in frame as much as I can. Go ahead, just go ahead, push all the air out. Seal it and we go ahead, just put it right over here. Get ready to be frozen. Now, some people might ask me, why do I do this? You know, I could go buy the zucchini, do this myself, probably go to a uh, actual bakery, buy zucchini bread. Well, I could, but why? I see today's economy and I don't like it. The prices of so many things have already went up. Why should I pay for food that I can grow myself? And also, you know, going back to the green beans. It's just not the same having canned green beans and actual green beans coming out of my garden. It's just not the same. This tastes better. And also I take pride in what I do. I've always taken pride in everything that I've done. So why not take pride in being able to make your own food? Why not take pride in knowing that if you can't afford your food, you can grow it. It's just, this all comes down to the simple things in life. God gave us the ability to grow our food. I believe that being able to do this is gonna help me out massively. Um, when I get around to actually making actual zucchini bread, I'll go ahead and throw a video up of that as well. Be ready for more videos about this on the prepping side. Because if we don't have food, we don't have anything. If we don't have water, clean water, once again, we don't have anything. Because you can go three weeks without food, and then you're going to starve yourself. You can go three days without water, and you'll be so dehydrated that, once again, you're most likely not going to make it out. Next video up will be a little bit more on my chickens. They're not hatching yet, but uh, they're just so darn cute. So why not go ahead and throw a video up? Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great night, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.